but there's no ecological foundation that we can see for this uh, roundup and removal of wild horses from their home. Brittany Sprout, public affairs specialist for the Bureau of Land Management, says that a gather was scheduled in West Douglas because the land isn't designed for herd management. The terrain is pretty rough for horses to survive on, and there's not really a lot of food or water available. Um, And so it's just not an area that we manage for wild horses. But Scott Wilson, spokesperson for the American Wild Horse Campaign, tells me that doesn't make sense. Over 1,000 cattle are still allowed to graze on the land, which only had 122 horses on it prior to the gather. There's no such thing as land which is unsuitable for wild horses, yet is still suitable uh, for cattle. When it comes to how the BLM chooses the method to round up the horses, Sprout tells me there's a lot to consider. In the past, we we have used helicopter gathers uh, due to fires impacting the herd and just mass overpopulation. It's been much quicker and much more safe to get the horses that way. Um, But we've also tried out uh, the bait trap gathering Um, Last year, we did it for both of our gathers in the Piance, East Douglas area and the Sandwash Basin. So we do like to try all of our options before we move straight to the drive, the, the drive trap gather. BLM euthanized four horses following the latest gather, reportedly due to pre existing conditions. However, one of the horses also suffered a broken leg. One of the horses was described as having a broken leg, though. I struggle to see that as an existing condition. I have to suspect that it happened as the consequence uh, of a helicopter chase. Wilson tells me fertility control is the most humane and cost-effective method of controlling the horse population. So it's not just a fraction of the cost, it's a fraction of the cost for just half the population. While anger and criticism continue over BLM helicopter gathers across the West, many of which prove deadly to foals and horses, local BLM officials anticipate there will be no more helicopter gathers held in the state of Colorado this year including a bait trap gather set for the Sandwash Basin at the end of the month. BLM tells me the scheduled gather was canceled because the infrastructure required wasn't ready to be used this year. Sprout tells me BLM is looking forward to applying fertility control in their herd management areas. We'll continue to monitor the BLM's wild horse management efforts and keep you posted on the latest. Reporting on the Western Slope, I'm Rin Lewis.